Paradise on Earth. Welcome to the first Hawk Talk. Since 2018, where the Harbor Hawks are playoff eligible. 20, 10, and 6, they've clinched their spot in the playoffs. I'm Drake Toll, that's Sam Watson. The Hawks win again. Sam, Hyannis. Uh, they won today. Uh, Merry Christmas in July, by the way. Uh, and Thank we're in the you. playoffs. Yeah. Oh, we will be in the playoffs. The playoffs aren't happening yet. Yeah, huge performance by Jake Barry. Five innings today, six strikeouts. Only allowed one hit and one walk as well. The guy was lights out. And he led the Harbor Hawks, the catalyst for a victory that was a true pitcher's duel. Yeah, he slung that mustard, man. No way around it, man. He was yucking it. And uh, they didn't hit the ball very much. You heard it here first. He shredded that cheese. Jake Barry is with Brie Lusk now. From McKeon Park, alongside Jake Barry from Virginia. Jake, tonight you went five scoreless innings, only giving up one hit and one walk. How are you feeling on the mound tonight? Uh, really good. I had I had all my stuff working tonight, which was always uh, it's always good to have everything working, and uh, just felt like I was throwing a lot of strikes and was happy with how I executed, and it was a good uh, good outing. What were some of those pitches that were working for you tonight? Uh, I think my slider was probably the best it's ever been tonight, and. Uh, a lot of lefties in that lineup, so that was a big, big key for me tonight. And uh, just pounding the zone with that and my fastball just allowed me to pitch pretty well and go five innings scoreless, which was really good. Really good. So now heading into the All Star break, the Hawks are number one in the league and also just clinched a playoff spot tonight. What's the morale like in the dugout? It's pretty good right now. I mean, we're always having fun uh, in the bullpen and the dugout. It's it's a lot of fun and. We all, we all enjoy it a lot, so it's, it's great right now. Morale is really high. Well, the Hawks have won three games in a row. Is it safe to say that the Hawks are hot? Yeah, yeah, it's safe to say that. <laughs> all right, thanks so much, Jake. I'm Bria Lossick, Harbor Hawks Baseball Network. Thank you, Bria, and to Jake Barry. Man, that guy is tall. Uh, yeah, he's taller than me. Yeah, really tall. Uh, you know, you heard it here first, unless you watched the broadcast. You heard it here second, maybe even third. The Hawks are hot, and they're number one across the Cape Cod Baseball League still, 20, 10, and 6. Now you get a two-day break, an all-star break. Ha <laughs> ha there's a baby on the floor. Hey! Yeah, a little all-star break. Seven Harbor Hawks are in the all-star break as well, and so you'll see them in the game uh, tomorrow out at Wareham off Cape. Uh, yeah, we will be uh, not on Cape Cod. There is a land bridge, or a bridge, not even a land bridge, just a bridge. A bridge separating two bodies of land. Yeah, zero land on that bridge. I'm Drake Toll, that's Sam Watson. A lot of land right here, land on which the Harbor Hawks staked their claim to the playoffs. Drake Toll, Sam Watson, I'll say it again on Hawk Talk.